I have a question for you. Are women okay? I'm about to find out watching Shoe on Heads report on it. Men vs. Women. For those of you who've been following <laughs> me for the past year, you know of my ongoing research into the man question. From learning man how to be question? a real man. If you're a grown ass man and you wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are likely to be a raging homosexual. <laughs> to what? judging men's living spaces. Men will literally not buy a TV stand, but will have too many fridges. To examining their interesting <laughs> dating rituals. Wish your toes were in my mouth right now. I mean, hey. And although this journey is far what? from over, I decided to take a break to focus on the fairer sex. That's right. I'm, hold on, I'm digesting what she just said right now. I feel like there's a video missing. Are men okay too? <laughs> I need to see if there's a sequel or a prequel. I don't know which one came first. <laughs> But that picture with the fridge to be stands for the uh, TV? I don't know, I think it's kind of genius. <laughs> The women. There are many things women love in this world. Flowers, uh -huh. chocolate, uh -huh. pumpkin spice lattes, Guilty. cute animals, yeah. shopping, nah. complaining and nagging. Am I right, fellas? But Maybe. above all else, <laughs> women love posting their own L's. My cousin, who is younger than me, is getting married today. Meanwhile, I have credit card debt. I am in a toxic situation with one of my exes. Last week, I was so broke that instead of getting an Uber to the airport, I had a random guy from Hinge drive me. And this year, I have had chlamydia twice. Are we in okay after watching that? No. No, they're not. <laughs> oh my god. Posting their L's. So I'm guessing like they're loser moments? Why are you sharing such a sad thing online? Give me views and pity me. Give me any sort of attention. I can only think of along those lines. Drama does drive attention. Am I right? <laughs> are women okay? No. No, no, no they're they not. <laughs> From posting about their old high school teachers, subscribing to them on OnlyFans, to posting about their boyfriends, Whoa. cheating on them. Wait. Y'all want to hear something cringy? One of my teachers, who I hated from high school, subscribed to my OF and comments on my pictures. Ah. Hmm. I would not be okay. To posting about their boyfriends, cheating on I heard we were exposing our husband's mistress. Cheating on them with their own mothers. <gasps> Women love posting their own L's. I would know. Despite rumors, I am a woman. Now for the boomer demographic who watches me who doesn't know what an L is, an L is a loss and a W is a win. And for the- Okay, that, you know what? I was close. L, I was thinking loser talk. Zoomer demographic that watches me. <clears throat> I like this girl. <laughs> gat Gat Ohio Rizzler. When you try to be petty and request money from your ex and accidentally send it. <laughs> Here's a hundred dollars for wasting my time and being a cheater. L. Absolute L. My ex-boyfriend is now gay and my ex-girlfriend is now straight. Call that p conversion therapy. When I helped the guy I was do? in love with get his girl because I thought maybe he'd fall in love with me in the process. Wait, wait, wait. When I helped the guy I was in love with get his girl because I thought he maybe he'd fall in love with me in the process. Ah, oh, please, no. Life is not a rom-com. Girl, wake up. No, why did she think this would work? Life is not TV. You are not the main protagonist of a Hallmark <laughs> Christmas movie. Just remember the time I went on a first date to the London Zoo, and at the gate he asked if I would mind paying for my own ticket, which I said I would, at which point he pulled out a two-for-one voucher. So I paid for my ticket, and he went in for free. <laughs> I had to- That was kind of clever, actually. That's actually really smart. <laughs> Kind of a dick move, but really clever. He could have said, like, let's pay 50-50 for this, but damn. Break up with him. Our signs weren't compatible. Once again, here we go. Our signs? Astrology is racism for white women. I'm a oh. Gemini. And he told me not to flush when I peed at his house to save money, so I obliged until I went through his Discord and found pics of him drinking it. Oh. That's a red flag. Yeah, no, that's a big red flag. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. I invited him to the crib, cooked for him, gave him the sloppiest neck you can manifest in your mind, let him fold me like an origami bird, called him an Uber, then blocked him and never spoke to him again. I really beat him to the punch. We are learning the game too fast. Wow. 
hold on, let me get this straight. Girl, she either got like signals or hints that he was just wanting to use her and wanted to beat him to the punch, or she got so paranoid about guys cheating on her first or something traumatic and just started anticipating that this is what guys do. And so she'll just do it too. I don't know. I feel like I need more details on this story. We are learning the game too fast. Wow, you sure showed him. When I broke up with a white boy and he deleted his stop Asian hate story. <laughs> Guys, my friend got banned from Tinder because she'd show up to dates without makeup and the dudes kept reporting her as a catfish. Oh my God. <laughs> if you look that different with makeup on, I don't know, I feel like Photoshop would have to be involved in some some cases, but I don't know, I have seen women transform themselves like some kind of chameleon when they have makeup on. Oh gosh, this one I don't know. Would you guys consider this catfishing if the girl wears a lot of makeup and when she takes it off she doesn't even look like herself anymore? Is, <laughs> is it catfishing to look that different? Oof. I don't know, I've always quickly shown the men I've dated what I look like without makeup. I do too. I figure, if you don't love me at my naked faced gremlin. You don't deserve me at my 2006 MySpace mid e-girl. <laughs> I wanted this man to be vulnerable with me for so long. He finally called me yesterday and opened up, but the second he started crying, I lost all interest in him quickly. Women be like, men need to show their emotions till a man shows their emotions. I told my husband- Oh, now that's just really sad. That's sad. I'm not okay with the whole, like, men are not allowed to show their emotions. Having that kind of mindset is so unhealthy. In fact, they'll probably crack down the line if they're not allowed to express themselves emotionally. Like, damn, girl, if you're not into men who cry, just leave it on your profile or let them know ahead of time. Like, hey, are you, are you emotional? Because uh, I'm not into it. Because that's not cool. That girl's, I'll just say it right now, that girl's kind of a I told my husband not to buy me a Christmas present. I'm fuming that he actually isn't. I hate this woman. I want to push her off the cliff. Ladies, please don't play that game of I don't want something and then expect something from a guy or friend or whoever it is and get disappointed. That's on you for being a dumb ass. Do not listen to women when they say this. Oh, I'm going to McDonald's. Do you want anything? No. Bullshit. Get them fries. I will never forget this guy mm -hmm. I was seeing didn't text She brings up McDonald's that reminds me of the time I was like walking my dog outside and my neighbor and was going out to go get some McDonald's and his girlfriend Was basically yelling at him to get chicken nuggies and then she kept changing her mind to like burger And then she said, you know, I don't get me anything and the guy's like, I don't understand Do you want me or do you want me not to get you anything? <laughs> and I was just like <laughs> in shock how the conversation was going over food like just say what you want and be done with it it's not that hard text me back for three days and when he finally texted me i was like are you okay and he was like yeah i was just watching the sopranos <laughs> when you are on your third kid and third baby daddy at 23 it's the hypersexual personality with a breeding kink for me. Huh? Okay, for the last time, you do not have a breeding kink. That is called being a woman. It is not a fetish. It came free with your genetics. Someone just asked my due date. I am not pregnant. A reminder, once again, that unless a woman tells you she is pregnant, please don't assume. It's really hurtful. Oh Ooh. God, do not do this. I have seen this mm -mm. actually happen not in okay. real life. The internet will never know when I'm pregnant, by the way. They'll just have to assume I'm eating good. I was talking to this guy <laughs> I met on Tinder, having the best conversations while we sipped on our boba, but when he found out my body count was close to triple digits, the conversation got quiet. He ghosted me after and blocked my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Do all guys really care that much? Maybe I should start telling my dates that I'm a virgin instead. Yes, guys care that much. Triple counts? And not just guys, and a s- How'd you even keep count of all that? Like, I'll probably lose count after 20. Look, I'm not here to judge or anything like that. I'm just like, to me, that's a lot. <laughs> Especially triple digits. If you're somebody who takes sex seriously and you think it's a special thing or you're a virgin or you yourself have a low body count, it's perfectly acceptable to care about body counts. But if you a hoe or if you a man hoe and you care about the other person's body count, you're a f***ing hypocrite. But I feel like Blech. even if you are a hoe or a man hoe with like a 20-something body count, I feel like you could still judge someone 
who's in the triple digits. <laughs> How do you even meet that many people? I, I don't even know 15 people. I'm going to give this one a W because I'm just impressed. That's that's just impressive. Yeah, that when is impressive. When I got pulled over for speeding and the nice officer said I could just show him a picture of license instead because I forgot my wallet and watched me scroll past multiple boob pictures and I couldn't tilt my phone the other way because my dad was in the other seat. Okay, Aww, there is nothing that's more embarrassing. stressful and anxiety inducing than handing someone your phone to show them a picture and you're just like, <laughs> okay, okay, give it back. Because if they Ooh. accidentally swipe, they're going to be seeing your hentai horse Futa. What? Am I right? <laughs> Who among us does not have that on their phone? I remember one time I was so obsessed with a boy that I found out his address, his mom and dad's number. I would call his mom and when she answered, I would what? make up lies about him so he got his phone taken away so he didn't talk to other girls. I found his family members' names, how many times he moved houses, what schools he went to, found all his family photos, found all the girls he messed with so I could become friends with them. Why would you share something like that? Why would you share that you did this crazy thing? Dude, that is some mean girl shit right there to the next level. What's exact? <laughs> I know this is a very broad question, but what is everyone's like limit of this is too crazy? Because <laughs> I am, I'm shocked. I'm shocked by the crazy levels that guys put up with with women. Crazy as men will look at this and they'll be like, I could fix her. Okay, so when Are I was you in serious? third grade, I had a crush on this guy, but he had a crush on this other girl and I cried about it to my mom. And my mom was like, who cares? They're not gonna get married. And that made me feel better until I saw today that they did in fact get married. This ha. reminds me when people are like, oh, like, <sighs> Don't worry, your school bully is gonna be fat and ugly in the future. No, my school bully is a f***ing bodybuilder now. She could kick my ass. It's important <laughs> to remember that you are not the main character. And sometimes good things happen to people you do not like. L. And honestly... Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. That's when you were just like feeling like life's unfair. And you know what? Yeah, life's... Life's just shit. Let's just do the best we can with it. Bad people, good people uh, will have, like, good things happen to them and bad things happen to them. So I guess life is fair. <laughs> what is karma at this point? Does it even exist? I don't know. But we can keep wishing for it if we've been screwed by someone. <laughs> You're 27 years old. Time to move on from your third grade crush. That's true. The fact that she was able to figure that out after X amount of years later. Girl, move on. A guy I was hooking up with told me I was getting chubby and I should eat less. I just ate an entire f***ing pizza. Ooh. F you, Brian. Oh, no, no, no. Why do not you do, do that? this. Do not spite eat to get back. Don't, don't spite eat. Don't spite eat. Because when you want to lose that weight, it's a huge bitch. Itch. The guy I really like ghosted me because I posted a TikTok about guys with piercings and he didn't have any. Honestly? What? Kind of the man's L here. Yeah. Women will often talk about what they're attracted to and what their type is. And they'll talk about like what men they find handsome. And like men who like that woman will like constantly obsessively compare themselves to those features and those people. They'll be discouraged because they don't look anything like them. Like maybe she likes blonde hair and maybe he has. Honestly, I think that just means she just dodged a bullet with someone who has insecurity issues. Brown hair, but if she likes you she will make an exception and maybe she's attracted to things She didn't even know she was attracted to until she met you Congratulations hmm. to the man who had matched with me the moment I told him I was a journalist keep it classy middle America Also, what? guess whose name I'm running through the court records tonight. What? <laughs> what a Chad do not date journos You want match me on tinder. So now I'm gonna run your name through the courts. Okay, psycho. <gasps> oh, of course you worked for Jezebel <laughs> Rest in piss. Women need to start using men for sex. Sleep with them and block them. Give them a taste of their own medicine. That's a- Who wants to tell her? No, but really, not all men do that. So now you're just contributing to, to the, the cycle problem. of abuse. Do not do this, woman L. Please no vengeance bang. <laughs> Please no vengeance bang. <laughs> or spite bang. <laughs> Please be better than that. My boyfriend said he was into BDSM, so he'd have me doing burpees, planking, wall sits, and push-ups. I was into it, and he said he loves watching girls BDSM. get pushed to their physical and mental limits when they submit to him. Then after a few months of this, he admitted he was just trying to get me in better shape because he didn't like having sex with me as much as he did at my old weight. Should I be- <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a win. You get a healthy body. 
<laughs> okay, this one is just funny. It's Wait, clever. Who are these ages? 18 and 29. My old weight? Me and my boyfriend were hanging a TV and I told him to just let me do it. And now there's 30 holes in the wall. Wait. How do I tell him? Wait, what are these ages? 18 and 29. My old weight? <gasps> me and my boyfriend were hanging a TV and I told him to just let me do it. And now there's 30 holes in the wall. How do I tell him I need him to do it? Just let him do it. Just be like, well, I effed up. Please fix. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be more holes in the wall. <laughs> and if he says, no, keep going. That gives you the green light to keep trying, girlfriend. <laughs> you gotta learn through some mistakes, right? Let your man do man things. Men That's were not built just man for things. war and hunting. And now there's okay. sucking cubicles yeah. for eight hours a day doing Microsoft Excel. The least you could do is let a man hang a damn TV. I don't care. I mean, if he begged and asked, then yeah, let him do it. I did it. And then I asked for help from my neighbors. <laughs> If you can open the jar yourself, give it to him. Men in captivity need to feel like they have a purpose or else they die. Do you notice that? She makes it sound like guys are wild animals. You can't keep them in captivity. They need to run free or they will make a mess at the house. <laughs> Let them be free. That men are no longer persuasive. Once they ask you out on a date and you say no, that's it. These guys are told what? when a woman says no, that means no. And they're... That's the right move. That's the right move. They, those are the good guys who are respecting you saying no. Who the hell likes persistent guy bothering you and you say no? I sure as hell can't stand it whenever I went to the bar and I say, please leave me alone and they just keep being persistent. No means no. Correct. So if you say no, you better mean no. Apparently mean like it. a large percentage of men aren't even- Please don't do reverse psychology uh, stuff. No one likes it. It's not cute. It's actually really sh -ty. Even approaching women anymore. The amount of TikToks I have seen of women secretly filming men hitting on them and the men are not even being creepy. They're being pretty normal. Maybe they're a bit awkward. And the caption's like, this creep was hitting on me. Whoa, how dare him? Like, how do you think your parents met? How- Oh my God, I hate social media being used as a weapon for content like this. This is straight up bullying. I hope those people can go to hell. Is that too strong? I don't know. Judge me if you will, but- them. Making life difficult and scarring people who are actually good just for content. Gum. Who are people supposed to meet people nowadays? Tinder? Like you can't just Ugh. walk up to a girl or guy you think is cute anymore. You have to be swiping on them. I am afraid we have me tooed a little too close to the sun and now the men are afraid of speaking to us. I asked my Wait. boyfriend if he wanted to rail me and he said he was too tired. So we went to bed and I literally woke up to him jerking it. Honestly, I can't decide <laughs> whose L this is. Is it her L because he didn't want to have sex with her? Or is it his L for being too lazy? Perhaps she lays there like a dead fish. I don't know. Maybe just can we just say work both? out your issues in private? Why, why is this even on TikTok? I Wait, no, know. on second thought, do not no. work them out in private. This is great content. Please do keep posting. <laughs> I got asked on a date today and I blocked the guy. Yeah, keep posting these L's. This girl got to eat. <laughs> Get her these views. Let's go. I got asked on a date today and I blocked the guy because he asked me what I wanted to do instead of just telling me. Listen, there what? is a reason women are so indecisive about things, about where to go, and especially about what to eat. It is in our blood. Back Back in the caveman times, we didn't have a choice. You hunted the mammals and you dragged them back to the cave. And that is what we ate. So you choose. You bringing home Chipotle is the modern man bringing home a mammoth carcass. You know what? I won't complain about the Chipotle offer. I will not complain about the Chipotle offer, but um, I have to kindly disagree. Make sure you have to figure out if your woman is someone who can decide on something or if she's someone who can't. <laughs> okay, that's all there is to it. Is your woman someone who can't decide what she wants to eat? Or is she someone who actually finds her meals on her own? <laughs> just, just make a good judgment call. I can't believe she blocked this guy because he was asking what she would like. It's called communicating. Consideration, even. So, I don't know. I guess she's looking for a guy that basically puts her on a collar and want her to go woof. I don't know. I don't know. She basically doesn't want to have any control of her own life, I guess. Good God. And I guess some people are into it. This girl's definitely a bottom.
bringing home a mammoth carcass. One time I was gonna have sex with this dude after a concert, and we went to shower off, and I did this naked little jig and went, it's time to wash me holes, and he made me go home. <laughs> no! <laughs> that is the guy's loss. What the hell? <laughs> that was so stupid, but funny. <laughs> if that guy doesn't have any sense of humor, get him out of here. <laughs> Don't fumble the quirky girl, no! Oh. I'm out eating with this guy, and he took the bill, and I offered to pay, and he said, Okay, here. <laughs> I love this trend of women being like, I want this, and men being like, okay, and women being like, wait, no, not like that. For the love of God, just say what you mean! Just men say it. Men do not know how to play these mind games. These boys Do not beat around the bush. Be very direct. Like, bullet point, even, so that way they, everything's understood. I mean, if you forget to say it, then, you know, whoops, try to remember for next time. But if you are deliberately living out information, that's on you. It's autistic out here. A guy wrote to me on <laughs> Tinder calling me quite the catch because I like nachos and always sunny. So I wrote back saying, well, if you're impressed by that, you should see my tits. And he unmatched me. I literally have no idea what men want. See, this is a woman who mm. has on her mind that men want sex, 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 and nothing else. So she came out too strong right out of the gate and scared him off. I was on a blind date. The she was actually talking to a guy that wants to know her personality. Oh, that's a loss for her. That guy would have been a catch. Oh my god. Otherwise, he would just send a penis pic. The guy opened up Tinder while sitting there with me and was swiping on girls. I guess I wasn't interesting enough. Haha. -ha. Oh, that's an L. A lot of pain in that haha. -ha. What's yeah, the hardest thing that. you ever had to say? It's me or the PlayStation. He took the PlayStation over his marriage and 10 year relationship. Oh my God. You know, I always say if somebody offers you an ultimatum between them and something else, take the something else. But in this case, I don't know, a PlayStation? Like maybe- I know we don't have the full story, but I feel like that guy was just looking for an out and he finally found one because of that. I don't know. I feel like the guy was on his last straw. The only situation I feel like it's not that scenario is if the girl says like, it's either me or the dog, then hell yeah, <laughs> take the dog and go. <laughs> we don't need no backstory on that. That's a given answer which one he's going to pick. Maybe there's more to this story, but ending yeah. a 10 year relationship and marriage over a PlayStation? I just... <sighs> came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. I see their wives and they just look like so like, what? you know, not like this, you know, like, huh? I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> That's why guys don't want to wife me up. I thought these men wanted like, you know, big strong, Oh, yeah? Girls. Okay, so first of all, she will find a man, okay? She's a- Yeah, she will definitely find a man. She just didn't find the right guy. She just needs to be patient. Like, maybe there's more to the story again. Maybe she's not telling us. She's just showing us that she thinks it's just a physical thing. Maybe that's a personality thing. We just don't know the whole story. That's one of the problems. But, uh, yeah, she'll, fi she'll, she'll find a match eventually. She, she good looking. She fit as hell. Like, holy crap. And the tattoos are cool. She'll find a tattoo buddy. Maybe. Adorable. She's self-aware. She's just a little quirked up white girl with tattoos. Who doesn't like a little quirked up white girl with tattoos? I personally... Quirky. Love tattoos. I... Can we? Can I get a thumbs up for the quirky girls out there if you like them? Come on. Quirky girls for the win. Love piercings. If I wasn't such a pussy... I would look like this. In high school, <laughs> I was so determined to get a- <laughs> That's right. I actually, I wanted a tattoo, a little puppy paw tattoo, uh, but I chickened out. I don't do well with needles or with pain. An Avenged Sevenfold logo on the back of my neck. No. So happy that didn't happen. <laughs> but anyway, some men do like her style. And trust me, judging by the internet, Men love muscle mommies, yeah. but if she's not attracting the type of men she wants, she could just easily soften up her style. She could take the nose ring out. She could put her hair down. I'm not going to say L or W. This is kind of neutral. I'm leaning towards yeah. W because she's so self-aware about it, but I think she's mm. going to make it. We're all going to make it, queens. If a uh. man leaves you after you've cheated, he clearly wasn't a real man. What? Real men would work through it and help you become a better woman. They accept you with all your flaws. Oh my god, that was painful. 
That was painful. Are you serious? Look, yes, accept people with flaws, but there's a limit to those flaws. There are things just, just like that cannot be forgiven. And if you made that bed, just freaking lie in it. Except that you made a mistake. This girl is crazy. <laughs> when I thought my man was cheating on me, so I slept with his dad, <gasps> but actually he was just planning on his proposal to me and I <laughs> ruined it. That girl was crazy. This girl's just dumb. <laughs> and you know what? Because of this incident, that guy got away from a real problem. Like, holy crap. This was a win for the guy. What? When you go through his phone to see if he's cheating, but you find screenshots of you cheating. Oh. When you checked his phone to see if he's cheating, but found nothing, then suddenly he said, my turn. Listen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The cheaters are always gonna be looking at your phones. If they keep doing things like that, yeah, get pretty sussy, men. Get sussy. Not even just men, women too. If anyone starts checking your phone all the time and be like, have you been cheating on me? They've probably been cheating. Even if they weren't cheating, they got some serious insecurity issues and they need to work that shit out. That's annoying as hell. My God. If your partner wants all of your passwords and constantly wants to see your phone, reads all your texts, and wants access to all your accounts all the time and accuses you of cheating on them randomly, that's, that's most likely projection and they are cheating on you. Yeah. Not all the time. Yeah. Sometimes they have trust issues, maybe from a yeah. different relationship. Yeah. And in these yeah. cases, yes, it, it was projection. Mom oh my God. I want to vibe with this girl and just like hang out with her for one stream. I really wish I could just hang out with her for one stream. She seems like really fun to talk to. <laughs> of two leaves her husband of 14 years for a stranger she was convinced was her soulmate after one magical night at a conference, only to be ghosted by him. This isn't a movie. Stop thinking that it's a movie. You're not a Hallmark character. <laughs> you ended a solid 14 year marriage for a one night stand. A one night stand. You're crazy. I feel like I need a crazy counter along the way of this thing. Oh my God. Are we supposed to feel bad for this bitch? No. Cause I don't. Men, mm -mm. if the DNA confirms the baby is not your- You know what really grinds my gear? People who basically play the victim card when they have done the self-sabotage to themselves. It's just, except that you made a mistake. It's like the least you can do, but hey, I mean, if they can't live life, you know, facing the truth and they need to be in denial to survive, whatever. Just all of us who see it and witness it, let's just steer clear of those people. They're a headache to be around. Freaking toxic. Men, if the DNA confirms the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact that you must take responsibility of the baby. Women go through a lot in marriages and women deserve better. <laughs> Is she seriously the wife asking her husband to take care of the baby that she got from another man while they were married? No, he does not have to live through that mess. You did it yourself. You lay in your own bed. Sorry, chica. Not feeling sorry for you. What? Woman, 37, stabs husband multiple times after <gasps> finding explicit photos of another woman that turned out to be her when she was thinner. No! This oh. man texted me, thank you for showing me what it feels like to be loved. I can't wait to make you my wife someday. It's gay shit like that that makes me want to cheat. Women be like... <sighs> this girl totally probably made this guy an asshole. Be like, <laughs> wow, thanks. This is why it's Ooh. so fucking hard to convince men to open up. I hope and pray this king has found someone who actually appreciates him. When yeah. he cheated on me with the same girl my other ex cheated on me with. Girl, that isn't your average hoe. That's your arch nemesis. You need to either <laughs> defeat her in battle or commit seppuku right now. No other way. Betrayed. I suggested an open marriage to my husband to spice up our sex life. He then fell for his lover and I was heartbroken. That... Mmm... It is a thing that people are into. And yeah, do it if that's what you really want. But as someone who had a friend who did this, yeah, they got divorced later. Um, It's a big risk. Y'all better be ready for that and not complain about it. If y'all think you're going to get away with this smoothly, think again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of delusional. And I'm probably going to get a lot of hate message of that. Now, Will it work out? Could it work out? 
yeah, the possibilities are there, but you gotta be ready for the possibility that it may not. Many, many, many such cases. Woman wants to open up the marriage, man finds someone else, and leaves with her. Because as soon as you open up the marriage, mm. he's not gonna take it seriously anymore. Because you're not taking it seriously anymore. Ooh, and a lot of she people said just way better can't than me. be polyamorous. They can only be monogamous. They can only give yeah. their love yeah. and intimacy to one person at yeah. a time. So L. Common open marriage L. Getting two yeah. jobs She's and telling my way boyfriend better. that I'll work 70 hours a week so I can pay the bills so he can find his dream job to find out he was cheating on me on the days I worked 16 <gasps> hours. Lost. When he went on Tinder right in front of me <gasps> an hour after taking my virginity. I nursed my cheating <gasps> husband back to health from severe brain trauma. Then he cheated again. Okay, so I know this is about women posting their L's, but god damn, these men ain't shit. No wonder there's so many insane broken harpies coming at me when I talk about male loneliness. And no wonder there are so many men who think all women are lying whores. Y'all are destroying yourselves. Stop yeah. cheating. Is it that hard to not f someone? I don't think so. Look at my audience. Is it that hard? You know, I asked myself the same thing and you know, surprisingly, some people are just super, I don't know, they're so, they're, they're more emotional than they are brain. I don't, <laughs> or horny. I don't know. I don't think it's hard, but then again, I don't really like people to begin with. So if you actually make it across the green line of me saying, oh, hey, you're cool. Oh my God, set off the fireworks. Cause that's a big deal. <laughs> I mean, the whole time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment. I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart. It was fun. So did you- It was fun. It was fun playing with this guy's heart emotionally just to see if I can do it. Push this bit down the stairs. Break his heart then. Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Demon! De demon, yes, demon, absolute demon. Demon! Be gone, vile woman! Congratulations, you have created another person with trust issues. People like yep. this should be in jail. People yeah. like this should be in prison. People yeah. like this should be thrown in the pit. Remember the this time girl. he came home and told me he cheated on me, so I slept with him and made him tell me I was better. When I found out huh? my boyfriend was cheating on me, instead of breaking up, he had me and the other girl give speeches on why he should stay with either of us, and when he chose me, I took him out to dinner and got him thank you presents. What? I never was much of a romantic. I used to beg him to stop cheating on me by giving him money. Me remembering- Oh my god. Why? Why? This is pure desperation of people who do not want to be alone. They don't care how they're treated. But then again, for some people, it's harder to live alone than it is to be with someone that, that completely abuses you. It- mm. Like, do I feel bad for them? A little bit. I kind of do. There's definitely some issues there. During the time I walked in on my boyfriend cheating on me and I left and came back five minutes later and asked to join. They declined. <gasps> Women, get some self-respect. <laughs> Holy sh I would say you could do better, but honestly, I don't know anymore. Turn mm. up the cheat. All women should have an affair once in their life. What? It made me feel sexier and look younger. First of all, I'm not okay with you being a journalist. Lifestyle, health, this is supposed to be a good thing. It doesn't matter if your partner who's been loyal and committed to you get their feelings hurt. What the actual flying f Did it? Second of all, this is the kind of shit the average woman has blasting into her mind 24 seven. And you wonder <sighs> why like 45% of them are destined to be single in 2030. And on the flip side, you have all these like manosphere red pill people excusing cheating, but that's a video for another day. Is the oh. man I'm cheating with lying to me like he does to his wife? Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Next, I've cheated on every single one of my significant others. Would you still take a shot? Fellas. <gasps> Would you take a shot? I swear to God, women with- It's not even cheating anymore. At this point, she's saying, do you want to come with me and have a one night stand? Those guys who are okay without having a relationship will totally go with it. They're probably cheaters themselves and they just are like looking for a nice bang night. <laughs> <laughs> Big titties can get away with anything. The power dynamic of the world is this. The peasants, the yeah. rich, the elites, the deep state, women with big titties. Broke true, true, all true. How do I know? I'm in the itty bitty category. So all of my friends who are in the big titty category, whenever they got pulled over by a cop, they were able to get away with it. But when I got pulled over for the very first time, did I get away with it? Nah, 
It's not fair, man. It's not fair. <laughs> I up with my boyfriend who loved me so I could hook up with my coworker that I've had a huge crush on since forever who just got out of a 3.5 year relationship. All to get pumped and dumped. <gasps> Thinking about how my perfect first boyfriend who was nice and bought flowers and gifts and planned surprise dates and never followed girls on social media and how I dumped him because I was bored and went off to date men who literally abused and cheated on me, LMAO. Thinking no, about the time no, I left a man okay. who would do anything to make me happy for a literal bum. When I had a boy that had loved me unconditionally since we were 13, flies across the country to surprise me, and after two years still supported me and worshipped me, and I let him down for a lying, cheating piece of sh**. I'm starting to suspect huh? there's not a male loneliness epidemic, and it's more of a avoiding these evil bitches epidemic. This video was turning mm. me into a misogynist. I always thought the woman <laughs> leaving the nice guy for the bad boy and getting her heart broken was a silly trope. Like, I knew it happened, but I didn't know it happened this much l's all kind of weird throw these women in the pit i hope these guys find women who appreciate their niceness because believe mm -hmm. it or not despite popular belief most women do like that i asked him how tall he was and he said i'm five yeah please don't turn into a douche because someone basically broke your heart i know it sucks but don't go to their level there are still nice people out there have a little faith I say that while trying to convince myself. Oh my god. And I immediately hung the phone up. <gasps> Turns out he's 5'11. How do I apologize? Nah, you don't get that. You just, you screwed up, live with it. I rejected the sweet guy various times, then a couple months later, he's dating someone new. Then once I got home, I cried. The time my prison pen pal. Yeah! <laughs> this is making me mad. I came out of jail me once and never spoke to me again after two years of telling me he loved me and wanted me to be in his life forever. I'm sorry. Your what? Your prison pen pal? You're telling me the convict in jail was not a good person? <laughs> of all people? <laughs> I left my husband because the sex was boring. Now I'm having the same problem with my new partner. There- there is a common factor here. He proposed. <laughs> Aw, that's nice. To the girl he dated after me. Oh. Ooh. I know we all let our dogs eat us out at least once. I'm huh? sorry. We? Us? Who is this us and we you speak of? One time I was riding a dude and he pressed my bladder so I ended up peeing all over <gasps> him for a solid minute and after I said I'm claiming my territory. I pee in the shower so frequently that my feet are dyed yellow. I left my underwear on the bathroom floor after my shower the other day and now there's ants eating my discharge. I <laughs> people too comfortable over sharing things like good god there's like no like there's like no dignity anymore it's kind of sad i'm not showing this but it's literally just dirty underwear with ants all over it you know growing up mm -hmm. i was always told like oh boys are the smelly messy gender and i don't know about that confession one time somebody nutted in my mouth and the <laughs> semen was chewy i held back tears <laughs> oh god this one made me gag <laughs> who's l is this is this hers or the man's i don't even know see a fucking doctor both. It's okay both. guys i really need help every check from my sugar daddy bounced Wells every Fargo check. was closing my accounts and i'm gonna owe them a lot of money like thousands and thousands i'm in a full-blown panic right now hold on wait can we take a look at this one other thing dildo the cum commodity dildo baggins <laughs> you know as a socialist i I really hate to say this, and I wish we lived in a different society and didn't have to give all our time and our life to this labor under this evil capitalist system, but get a, get a job. job, bitch. I spent 20k on plastic surgery to try to get a man, but it hasn't worked. I've been single for seven years. Well, you went from cute and unique to like cookie cutter Kardashian alien, but perhaps it is not the way you look. Maybe it is something else. You do not have to look like a blow up doll to find <laughs> love. In fact, you're more likely to not find love looking this way. $25,000 L. Everyone wow. my age is having children, buying houses, and getting married. 
and I'm just over here crying with happiness that I got to hear Hillary Clinton say human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights in person. <laughs> you don't huh. have kids? How old are you? Me, 31. That surprises me. I'd be lost without my kids. I mean, how do you find meaning in life? Me. Marvel keeps coming out with films, so I have that. You're 30 and you don't have any kids? How can you live with yourself? Okay, it's one thing to just not want kids. It's another to cope like this. At least I have Marvel movies. At least I to have cope. Hillary Clinton. Bleak. <laughs> Thinking about the fact that I offered him $100 a week to add me back on Snap. I guess I'm in the bleak category. I had no idea. Thinking about the fact that I offered him $100 a week to add me back on Snap and talk to me and he said no. I was so ready to pay that too. I still am. I will still pay you to add me back. Please, I'm begging. Could wow. you imagine this reversed? Like men paying money to talk to a crazy woman? <laughs> oh wait. Yeah, that happens. That's uh -huh. like 60% of my Discord. I'm real. <laughs> Donnie. Nice to meet you. Fun fact about Donnie, he's a Marvel nerd. Are you into Marvel? You know what? No. Like my brother watches them, but I just can't get into anime. Like. Not anime. Okay. <laughs> like, you can't not like Marvel. It's you can't amazing. not like There's Marvel? There's so many different things, and it's not anime. It's just like a bunch of superheroes who try to save everyone. Yeah, you know what? This red background means red flag. This guy's a red flag. You can't not like what I like. Wow. You can't live with this guy. Everybody. She dodged a bullet. Oh, no. <laughs> we need to hook this guy up. With the other woman who's like 31 and single and only looks forward to Marvel movies. They are a match made in heaven. You know what, When I true? remember that I basically begged a dude who had his mattress on the floor and a plastic jug full of loose change on his mantle to be with me and he said no. Huh. Still can't believe I f***ed a guy who made me drink water out of a Tupperware container. I f***ed a guy with actual shit on his floor. Okay, this is why so many women think men are improving or putting in a lot of effort. Because they don't have to. They can have literal shit on their floor and you will f*** them. How are women's standards so high and simultaneously so low? Huh. I'm a liberal. It's hard to find masculine men to date who aren't conservative. Ladies, stop, stop, stop f***ing thinking you need your man to align with you completely. Because you know who's gonna align with you completely? A woman. <laughs> A woman with bipolar disorder. A woman marries a dog after 220 failed relationships with <gasps> no. men. The fate of every lonely man is suicide, and the fate of every lonely woman is marrying her dog. Unfortunately, I can't make a cute recap video of this year because I spent 2022 ugly crying over my ex, quit my job, ended up in the psych ward, and got an STD. It really does need to be studied why women love posting their L's. My theory is that like women's go-to humor is self-deprecation. Like uh -huh. female comedians do it often. They Even do. Even me, like I'm constantly making self-deprecating jokes and videos. So mm. it could be that or it could be just like a cry for help <laughs> or attention. <laughs> I have no idea, but, but what I do know is you couldn't beat this sh of a man. So that was that, <laughs> whatever that was. Wait, I guess I'll leave you guys with a question. Post one of your biggest L's. Okay, basically her asking what's your biggest L is a trap. I'm not gonna respond to it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come out naturally when I really expect it in my own stream. But for now, I ain't gonna talk about it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun to watch. I can't wait to see more of her content. She's new to me. Yeah, so I will have a link below of this video if you wanna check out more of her videos. Again, her channel is called Shoe on Head. And I hope you press that like and subscribe button for more videos in the future. Thanks for hopping in.